Here at Lighthaven, the idea of someone dedicating a section of their lives to the pursuit of martial skill is an idea which is very close to our hearts. We aim to create a space without distraction where one's only focus was on their training and growth. At the same time, it was important to us that the training would be more than just a once in a lifetime experience. It needed to add value to someone's life, not just in the present, but in the foreseeable future as well. To do this, the training was modeled after our own experiences training with Grand Tuhan in the Philippines. We set up a residential training with two major goals. One, to teach solid fundamentals. Two, to give our students the tools to be as self-sufficient as possible. We aim to teach in a way that a student can continue their training and growth not just while they are staying with us but after they go home as well. Kiri Tersha Kali is a weapon-based martial art originating in the Philippines. It was the martial art of the Tortal family and his current guardian and grandmaster, as well as our direct teacher, his Grand Tuhan Leoti Gahe Jr. It is an art that dates back hundreds of years to a time when skill and weapons was often a difference between life and death. It's one of the few martial arts to still regain its true ancient martial and warrior essence. Through the numerous trips we've made and the months we've spent in the Philippines training with Grand Tuhan, we've come to glimpse how special, effective and efficient the art of Pikiti still is, especially when taught in the right way. Uh, and it works both ways. It works in a back hand, it works in a forehand. If my weight is too much of either leg, this complements my neck. So by making me move back, you're making my legs heavy. If I'm just I can move. What truly makes this art special is the transference of skill from one weapon system to another. This means that the same way I approach the use of the stick is the same way I approach the use of the sword and is the same way I approach empty hands fighting. This also translates to the use of improvised weapons. For these reasons, Pikiti is a really good art for self-defense, especially against weapon-wielding attackers. At the same time, it's also important for us to expose our students to both the martial as well as the art part of Pikirita Shakali. It's not enough to move gracefully and beautifully if you cannot apply those skills in a real world context to protect yourself and or your loved ones. Thus, sparring or training against an actively resisting partner forms an important part of a student's time here. Goa is a beautiful place for residential martial arts training. This is because we often train in stunning natural environments while still being able to come home to a clean and comfortable room with high-speed internet. We accept five or less than five students at the school at any given time. This allows us to modify the training to suit each individual's skill level, ability and fitness. We have been blessed to have students from all over India and the world from places like New Zealand, the UK, the US, Argentina, etc. If you or someone you know wants to come live with us and train with us in Goa, check out the links we will leave down below. Thank you to all our residential students for having us as a part of your journey. Thank you all for watching. It would mean a lot if you would like and share this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.